Right, you see my workshop, parts of it at least, and it's normally fairly organized. I mean, it's not the beauty of by any means, but I can find my way around. However, what you haven't seen is my old workshop. Isn't it beautiful? Well, I moved from this workshop to the other room. This room just ended up a dump. It's been a trash room, a laundry room. It's been <laughs> nothing glamorous at all. But I thought I'd take and clean it up at least a little bit. But before I do, I thought I'd give you a grand tour so that <laughs> all this lovely mess won't be ever forgotten. So what do we have? If we start by the door, we've got the timer for a sewage pump that's outside, cables just running out the door. We've got a chair, beautiful chair, it falls apart. And uh, computer part storage. the computer case, broken speakers, if you can see anything. Uh, no Logitech subwoofer, if you can call the subwoofer. Amplifier blue in it. So I just took a cable out. And yeah, it's decent. Can take take a lot of power. It doesn't sound very good at all though. And uh, battery water old multimeters I got from my old school, they were tossing it out. I think I used this pump to drain the brake fluid from a Volvo. Tire, well, refilling thing for the compressor, centrifugal fan. There's a battery charger that a mate of mine built a long time ago. This was at one point uh, fairly well equipped Lead acid battery uh, while well, fixing up uh, reconditioning lab, but it's deteriorated ever since. Uh, old speaker boxes, grass trimmer, old mechanical keyboard with some special interface I can't be bothered to figure out how it works. Server power supply, 500 watt, firecrackers, box for my model airplane, well radio controlled airplane, real beginner's thing, haven't flown it more than once, paint bucket full of laptop chargers, wall warts, serial cables and concrete screws, use those for fixing the bench to the wall. In the other room, here's an old shelf that came out of my Peugeot. I replaced it with uh, something a bit sturdier. Hard drive uh, grinder, use this for sharpening pizza cutters. Mm, old computer parts, yeah, nothing too exciting there. My old teacup. Oh, here's uh, something nice. My first ever. DIY speaker, it's a boombox 6 inch subwoofer driver in there. A fairly high tech port thing here, spent quite a lot of time counting that, it's tuned to about 40 Hz. Uh, broken inverter, drills, another old speaker. Oh, here's a computer. I think this is actually a fairly recent thing. Atlon 64X2 4800 plus, I think. Oh, yeah, here's my air compressor. 99 euros. Very cheap, very bad. More speaker boxes. These are made by a Finnish company, Salora, they're called. Random metal junk, heat sinks, fan grills. What will you? Ah, here is an old battery powered speaker I built back in school. 
it had a DC volume control thing on the amplifier chip so it had to have an extra battery or else it would just go into muting oh another battery don't know what that's for here's the actual amplifier assembly yeah no autofocus you're not gonna see much of it but it's uh, I think a Philips amplifier chip 5 watts mono taped onto an old uh, I think it's a RAM bus one of those dummy modules and here under all this black tape we've got our batteries non-rechargeable I think some of those are actually still good I never used this thing until it died because this thing died so it went into mute oh and a carry handle I went and got myself a 30 watt light and here we've got parts from a Volvo just various junk and cans and some tools stuff I should really sort through and we've got the best tool of them all if you don't have a rubber mallet just use silver tape and uh, newspaper box of charm apart from an old computer monitor four port gigabit switch absolutely worthless an old tuner belongs to the best amplifier I ever owned speaker from the old kitchen radio gauges from a spare parts Volvo the speedometer is broken I think well pretty much everything's broken because everything works in my good Volvo apart from the broken chair my old third hand nothing too exciting down there yeah this thing is a rack uh, whatever you want to call it from uh, an old analog TV transmitter it had some lovely gauges on it so I took it here the shelf broken car radio various boxes of stuff I don't even want to think about yeah, there's a box for my cell phone and my Kawan D2 you always save my old boxes never know when I'm gonna need them 12 inch drivers, this is a classic pioneer something or the other, fairly good nick what's the model number? PW301A and some generic pioneer car subwoofer thing pair of old Philips speakers they're not too beautiful two way, 6 inch, six inch old Philips mid-ranges uh, six inch driver, I think that's from a mm, Celestion speaker fried voice coil, coil and a Philips tweeter this mid-range driver, this thing belongs to that guy uh, this is on German I have no idea of the brand but the German uh, tweeters and I think that's some old car driver there, 10 inch drivers that belong to these cabinets here uh, peeless tweet and some generic generic thing up here oh, this light is really heavy we've got my old uh, bench power supplies tripped I'll just put the cap in there and uh, my battery powered surveillance camera used for whatever and it's monitor I don't the receivers in that box there I'll do a video on that sometime uh, yeah that pretty much covers the shelf the laptop bag oh yeah oh yeah we've got ah. here's my collection of <laughs> old uh, quantum bigfoot hard drives they used to work but uh, they got water damaged a while back when the basement flooded so I think perhaps one or two of them work but not, not more than that 
it's a real shame I've got I think it's six of them all of different sizes uh, yeah they're real cool drives they're just so well big anyhow moving on more Volvo parts there's a deep fryer that has been used for a while could probably do with uh, some cleaning up and here is the magical under the stairwell storage bin in this box we have some old pioneer ads from the 80s used to have that in my on my wall a few years back and there's oh, come on old laptop parts Compacamada little computer game I think nothing too exciting there keyboard storage well I've run out, run out of them I've had like 20 of these IBM keyboards they're decent box for an old graphics card ah this thing is a fantastic device it's a little record player you can see the record in there and I found this in the trash a good while ago and it's the only record player I know and I built a speaker into it and I had one record to play on it and it's some Swedish band singing about how terrible the world is I usually bring it out every now and then it's a lot of fun everybody hates it because it sounds like utter crap but moving on we've got uh, I used to have my modem and a uh, sort of backup power supply built into that uh, well box there and have it mounted on the walls. It was a quite good solution but uh, it took up too much room so I didn't bother putting it up again when I moved to this house. There we've got another set of speakers. These are real terrible no-name things. I usually use these outside if I ever need music outside worthy of them and if we climb down here we've got there we've got parts of an old uh, crank lamp thing and more excitingly sorry if I sound a bit odd this is not very comfortable we've got a couple of really old really cool UPS's the big ones are 3 kilo VA Finnish made unit and it's got some really really hardcore circuitry inside and it runs on 144 volts of lead acid batteries so it's uh, quite heavy duty I would like to use it but uh, yeah I'm not buying 12 7 amp hour lead acid batteries for a single UPS that's just way too expensive and the other things are Fiskars, same as Powerware. And it's, uh, I think, a just 500 VA unit, but it's bloody huge. Two rack units high, and uh, it runs on 48 volts. So I haven't bothered getting any batteries for that either. But it's really well built and a real tank. Uh, what? else have we got? Box for a car battery. One of these radio clock things. This thing's re real cheap. Ugh. Just look at it. Ugh. This is actually metal though. <laughs> the Rubik's Cube and Transformer. Hmm. Box for my motherboard. Oh dear, it's really cramped in here. Yeah, just motherboard is stuff in there. I'll have to get out of here. Oh dear. Ow. Sheesh. Yeah, that's most of the exciting stuff there. 
and here is our boiler room which is filled with stuff we used to have a, a oil burner in here but we've upgraded to some high-tech inverter system that's this guy here quite expensive but very good and with today's oil prices it really pays off and I do have a light in here in this corner we've got more parts from the old analog TV transmitter these uh, huge things down here are the actual transmitters I, there are a couple of well I think they're actually 500 watts each and that heatsink you see runs all the way across it I just have them for using the heatsink sometime because it's like 10 kilos of heatsink on them so you can do some really cool stuff with them like a huge linear power supply or artificial loads or something like that just have to figure out what to use them for <laughs> I've had them for a few years and we've got computer monitors lots and lots and lots of computer monitors I trash pick these, fix them up and I never get around to actually selling them old iMac G4 on a microwave this is half a linear power supply I started building but uh, got some other stuff to do and it just went on the shelf and then ended up here and this thing is another thing from the analog TV transmitter it's a rack mount uh, a video oscilloscope Tektronics I think and it's a great thing it's uh, very well built and it's got a great tube but the triggering circuitry, circuitry only allows it to trigger on TV signals so it's quite useless and modifying it is not very easy because it's some odd mixed thing it's got both tubes and germanium and silicon semiconductors in it so it's not really all that fun to hack uh, moving on panel to a monitor I think that panel might actually be broken I don't know why I'm saving it monitor feet old computer cases this is a cool little Dell computer, Pentium 4 based and it's water power supply there this actually, this thing is not a computer monitor anymore you can see the panels cracked so I had some time to waste and I just hacked the inverter on it so that it's uh, on and you can adjust the brightness on that potentiometer there and it has all sorts of funky colors it's, uh, you know, all these cracks are different colors it's quite c cool but uh, yeah absolutely useless just saving it for the novelty and here are boxes of various stuff might as well put this light down Persho parts more monitors various crap Nothing too exciting uh, oh yeah box full of wall wards brand new wall wards I think they're 10 volts most of them might be some 15 volts as well I got all of these for cheap I think it's about well it used to be about 40 of them and uh, they they came with some old cable modems but uh, no one here actually runs cable anymore and the mod modems were completely outdated so they were being toss tossed away and while the modems were completely useless these are really nice transformer based wall wards and they give about 14 volts unloaded so you can s just slap a 78 12 or 7805 on them and you've got a little regulated power supply great stuff here's a 
really hard monitor or heavy metal touch screen sadly the touch screen is uh, worn down and out of calibration so it's fairly useless but this thing can handle anything short of being submerged in water you could stick this out in the rain and it'll, it'll it would run for a decade so I'm just saving this in case I sometimes need a very heavy duty monitor Ooh. and I do mean it when I say that it's heavy weighs like nine kilos uh, yeah that pretty much covers it I'm not gonna touch this thing we don't want to risk breaking it or ending up with that without hot water that's no fun in the middle of winter <sighs> yeah Oop. I think that pretty much concludes it this room really needs <laughs> a clean oh wow Oh, I don't got to get to it sometime. Och till honom kommer människor och talar både om han och sitt och om sina egna. Det är en festlig dag. Modern kräver fett och liv. Neger barn slags ner med kniv och mördaren går fri. En festlig dag. Jätteimmation på gång sen stugan blev kinesen trång bevis på energi. Vill ni vad som hänt? Ni har hört. Stor konferens. Någon har släppt en bond någonstans.